In this presentation, we're going to look at goods in words for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. NAV can accommodate different scenarios for your location, and we're going to review them. It can be straight from an order or a one-step process to receive or put away, or a two-step process. First, let's look at the location that control your setup. On the blue location, we don't have any receipt or put away, so it's straight from the order. On the white location, we have the receipt and put away. On the receipt location, it's the only, re only the receipt step, and on put away location, we've put only the put away step. So let's start first to receive directly from an order. It could be a purchase order, a transfer order, or a sales return order. So we start by creating a purchase order. To make, it, to make things quicker, we use a template that will populate the line for us. We haven't received anything yet. If we post just the receipt, the quantity to receive is going to the quantity received. Everything has been received here. So let's create now another order and see the partial receipt. If we enter a quantity to receive and post the receipt, we have a partial receipt with the remaining quantity indicated in the quantity to receive. Let's do another partial receipt, 20 this time, of just one item quantity received increase and we can navigate to the receipt and see so far the two receipt we have done for that purchase order so far. Let's go on the last one so that's the 20 bicycle we received. And now to finish it if we post everything outstanding is going to be received. Now let's go to the two-step process with received and put away. First we create the received from an order, then we combine received, then we see the creation of put away per received or by combining received. So let's go back to the setup. On the white location we have received and put away with bins and different bins are set up with different zones. Okay, so let's start again by creating quickly on order, purchase order. That could be a transfer order or a sales return order. And let's go to action after we've created, well, let's create a few lines first. We release and go to create warehouse receipt. Then the system navigates directly to the warehouse receipt. We're going to receive everything. And here we're coming back so to the purchase order, everything has been received. Now let's see the second part of the process. So in goods handling multiple orders, 
we have putaways and a putaway has been created with uh, where we need to indicate where to put in which pin where to put the uh, items and notice that you can split the line to select if you don't want to put everything in the same bin so out of the 100 of the first item we put 70 in one place and 30 somewhere else now we're going to look at combining orders when we receive so to do that we go to planning and execution warehouse received and create a new we call our location and we call the get source document icon then we can select multiple orders it could be purchase order sales return transfers so we select two and we see the two orders four lines let's post so the two orders have been received at the same time let's do another receipt and, and instead of using the get resource document we use a use filter and we see there are rules that have been set up already let's look at the first one that is set up to receive things from vendor 30,000 anything that we receive and let's have a look at the second rule setup anything that we receive from FedEx so that the transporter is set up here so we're going to use the rule from vendor 30,000 and directly the lines are populated now let's look at the second step the put away so in good handling multiple orders you find that a put away has been created automatically if we come back to the setup of the location the reason is that we set up the location not to use put away worksheet so two other ways to create putaways either from the posted warehouse receipt you see that you can you could navigate to the put away lines or and you can create put away manually so from the posted warehouse received or you could go to planning put away worksheets and in the worksheet you call the get warehouse document you found and you select them and you create the put aways now let's look at the received only process so I've created a purchase order already on a location set up just to receive and you click on create warehouse receipt we can if you use bin code you can indicate one bin code per line not multiple we post it and it is received in one step alternatively you could go directly to warehouse request create a new document select your location and if you you can use the get source document or the use filter and here you can select one or multiple documents to receive I've selected two orders and I can receive in one step multiple documents now let's look at the put away only process so just one step using the put away again I've created a purchase order on the put away location here I create inventory put away just select create inventory put away
document has been created and I go to I navigate to inventory put away pick lines go to the card the document has been created I can indicate a bin and I could split the line to indicate multiple bins I post the receipt and coming back to the purchase order the, quant the purchase order has been received in one step again I could do the same instead of doing from, from uh, an order this time I go to warehouse goods handling order by order we go to inventory putaways create a new and here so we select the location and on get source document here we can select one document one document at a time I autofill post and receive so NAV offers flexible options for inward goods one step two step process do we combine receipt? Do we allocate to multiple bins? Do we use multiple units? Do we have a paper or a paperless with scanner mobile solution that could greatly increase efficiency and accuracy as well? To finish this presentation, a few things to keep in mind. First, you need to set up yourself as warehouse employee for all the locations you need you want to use. And set up all the users that need to access it, the location second let's go at the print that we could have so on the warehouse receipt let's see the printout here it is we see what to receive now Let's go to the put away, the second step. So on the goods handling multiple orders, put aways. We print. And we'll see where to take it from. The, re the receipt bin, we take and we place in the pick bin in one of the pick bin let's go on the one step process with just put aways so it's called inventory put aways let's see the printout so one by one on the inventory put away one document at a time and the document tells you which item and where to put it so instead of using the paper solution you could go with a mobile WMS solution that greatly improve efficiency if you get any question on that please contact us